Hey, beautiful Gemini. Welcome back to the channel, Gemini. I hope you're doing amazing. Let's get straight to your messages. Hmm. Seems like... Circus of Love. <laughs> What's going on here, Gemini? You could be a superstar. You're a supernova. Come on. You're dealing with the divine in disguise. Okay? It's something that is meant for you. Something that is meant for you. Maybe somebody else didn't see that. Maybe someone didn't see that you were a supernova. Let's see what's going on here. Clarify this supernova. Could be your family. Some kind of destiny. Someone could be feeling foolish. This is a real over a relationship. Maybe children. Maybe somebody acted cold. Maybe somebody acted mean maybe somebody wasn't thinking maybe somebody regrets the things that they said maybe somebody is regretting <clears throat> the words they spoke, maybe somebody is regretting. Trying to make you sad, maybe somebody is regretting. It's like a supernova. Somebody was deciding if they should end something or not or be single. And who is ever here? There could be a lot of stress and worry about this. A lot of fears and insecurities. It could be over money. Maybe somebody did something foolish. Maybe somebody is being manipulative to an empress energy. Maybe they were acting out of spite, saying something spiteful. Maybe they're jealous of the Empress. Maybe somebody hates seeing you shine. Maybe somebody hates seeing you get the attention. Maybe somebody is, there's been a lot of conflicts over money or conflicts going on in the home. I don't know. In a relationship, a marriage or a commitment here. And it's almost like this is a lot of communication. I mean, there's love here. But why is someone like feeling neglected? Someone is feeling neglected in a relationship. Or this could be hardship. This could be like something just keeps repeating, repeating, or going around and going around. It's like there's passion here, there's love here. I don't know, but something's at a break point. Something is breaking here. You could, this is a leader. This is someone who's got to take the lead. Maybe they're the nurturer. Maybe they're the, you know, take care of the home, take care of the kids, take care of self, take care of everything. But sooner or later, this is going to cause a break. I don't know. Hmm. 
It is a family home situation. Someone is like trying to like I don't know if somebody's family or friends are trying to like control a situation or or is somebody trying to control someone too much this can be a control thing maybe someone thinks you know like me someone's being too controlling and they're like I don't know if it's friends or family getting involved and being too controlling or there's some dispute or argument about friends and family. Um, it's almost like this person wants to control everything in the relationship. This is a masculine who may want to control everything like or their friends or family are getting involved i don't know somebody could be moving something is very toxic here somebody could be thinking about ending a relationship and moving there could be fights arguments interferences going on with friends family but it's primarily this person's, I don't know if this is codependency. Somebody's got to break free of codependency and be more independent. Yeah. This is a spouse. I don't know if somebody's mom is getting involved here or there could be a controlling mother or a mother-in-law I don't know what this is something got to change here Somebody could be just like waiting for something to change or longing for something to change. Somebody just might be acting very selfish just to be real somebody could be doing things somebody could just be being selfish And it's almost like somebody is making a decision whether they want to walk away. Maybe they want to run away. There's a father figure here who's very hurt, would hurt very much to see someone have to move or cease.
So someone could be giving someone the silent treatment. Somebody could be giving someone the silent treatment. There's a lot of pain here. It's almost like chance after chance after chance after chance. So somebody you're mad at, you got mad at somebody. And maybe they're apologizing for that. Maybe they got mad at you. Maybe they took their temper out on you. I don't know. But it's like boundaries here. Someone has to stand up for themselves. Someone's getting tired of all the anger, the frustration. Someone's getting tired of always having to defend themselves or it's like I've prayed about this. I'm trying to remain balanced. Somebody may be moving or trying to stop someone from moving or trying to like somebody doesn't trust someone. Maybe they've been physical. Maybe they've been Maybe somebody's father's getting involved here. And maybe somebody's father is scared that somebody is going to get physical or things are going to get physical. Now, I don't know if somebody is being sneaky here. Or trying to get away with something here. Or is someone just interfering and being nosy? Some kind of planning. Maybe somebody's like considering a divorce here. I think someone's feelings are hurt. <laughs> Things are rocky, that's for sure.
think somebody just needed a break. Like, maybe somebody just needs a damn break. Gemini. Somebody needs to regenerate. It could be that someone just needs a helping hand. Someone could just simply need some help. Like, someone could have a lot on their plate. They could be struggling financially. They could be going through relationship crisis, a financial crisis, sicknesses, maybe having, dealing with too much. There's somebody's plate is awful full. And it's like, maybe somebody just needs a damn break from it all. Maybe people are getting under each other's nerves and getting on each other's nerves. You know, we I seen a lot of that when COVID was going on. I really did. Like, especially if you're confined to <clears throat> your living situation, like, and you're around each other all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. And then you really get to see how someone is. Someone is going back and forth with their thoughts like, should I or shouldn't I? It's almost like pros and cons. What are the pros? What are the cons? Weighing out options. What should I do? How am I going to get out of this situation? I don't want anybody to hurt. I don't want anyone to feel hurt. Like, should I stay or should I go? Should I go for a new life or should I try and make this work? Should I go for a new life or should I... Stay and try and repair this. Because there's a lot invested here. There's no place like home, though. There is no place like home. Maybe somebody just needs a helping hand. Maybe somebody just needs some help with, like, regular stuff. Like, 
regular things like cleaning the house or getting the kids ready or traveling or commuting or it's almost like someone needs just like a, an extra set of helping hands it could be all these frustrations are just piling up because of the lack of assistance or that's what I'm thinking like I think this is a solvable issue. I mean, there is issues. Every relationship has issues. So I'm not talking about somebody who went out and cheated on you or anything like that. I'm talking about like someone keeps feeling like whoever the masculine in, in this situation is, is not contributing the way that they should be contributing. Like, they're not, someone feels like their partner isn't doing enough or contributing enough or participating enough, and it's overwhelming. Maybe this person's ill. Maybe this person's sick. Maybe they need to sleep. I don't know. It's just like, maybe this person's been injured and, and wounded and... Maybe they're on bed rest. I don't know what this is. But this is testing a relationship. And there is no place like home. So the feminine is going, but I just need to sleep. I just need a nap. I just want to rest. It's the feminine who is getting disgruntled here. It is the feminine who is like feeling overwhelmed. And somebody just may simply need to get more rest. Or the masculine could be sleeping all the time. Or the masculine could be sick. Or the masculine could be injured. I don't know what this is. How do we make this work? How can we make this work? Somebody's going to have to do an awful lot of problem resolutions this is going to be a test like to see how strong somebody's relationship really is because everything is going on and it has a really good potential of of working out just fine But why is it always falling on the feminine's back? Like the feminine here. I don't know if somebody's mother or step like a mother-in-law keeps sticking their nose in it's just like you gotta talk to your partner not to your friends not to your in-laws not to your family you got to talk to your partner your it's like the partner doesn't know what to do the partner doesn't know what is expected of someone's doing way too much talking to their friends and way too much talking to family <clears throat> when they should be talking to their partner and for God's sake keep it short and sweet because I don't think that this person
I don't know. It's up to you. It's gonna, it's almost like a make or break situation. feels like I'm damned if I do, I'm damned if I don't. I don't know what to do anymore. I think someone's just getting really overwhelmed and really frustrated. Like I seriously don't know what to tell you. Because somebody is like weighing something back and forth and a reader can't tell you what decision to make. It's like it has potential, a lot of potential to work out fine. It has a lot of potential. The love is there. The passion is there. But maybe somebody's just simply keeps getting shit out of slack. Like situation after situation after situation after situation. And it could be very tiring and taxing on a relationship. The bills are due. This is due. That's got to be done. Oh, my God. Like, the love is there. You know? And it may smooth over. You know what I mean? Let bygones be bygones. I don't know. But... Somebody's very depressed. And I would limit I know it's nice to like vent to people. I know it feels good to just get something off your chest. But the thing is, when you're talking to other people, you're not talking to the person you need to talk to. And then everyone gives their two cents and their, their advice. And then that it's just more to think about where someone should just spend the time sit down and discuss what needs to be discussed and maybe just like a list would even be helpful you do i do you do i do <laughs> because it's getting out of hand someone needs help like tangible help i'm not talking mental help i'm talking tangible help an extra set of hands would be nice here there's a lot going on and it could be catastrophic if it's not handled correctly take care